Let's talk about the science of interstellar. The science in this movie is decidedly mixed from some pretty good physics and relativity to some pretty bad orbital mechanics. One thing it does really well is the time dilation close to the black hole, experiencing seven years for every hour. It also does a good job at representing the time it takes to travel through space. It takes them two years to get to Saturn with a gravity assist around Mars. It does better at this than some movies where apparently it takes them over a week to get to the neutral zone and then it takes them five minutes in the middle of a fight to get back to Earth, and then they end up stopping right at the moon. Interstellar also does a really good job of representing gravity, both on the planet and in space where they have to spin their spacecraft to generate artificial gravity, just like in 2001. Now some bad points. There's an unexplained phenomenon killing the crops on Earth. This is not necessarily a reason to leave your planet. It'd be much easier to find a cure. And even if the problem is completely insoluble, it's much easier to create an artificial structure on your own planet than leave it for another. Even if you have to leave your planet, why not go to a closer one like Mars? And if you absolutely have to leave the solar system, why go to a planet around a black hole? Black holes are pretty rare, and Earth-like planets aren't, with over 6 billion of them in our galaxy. This brings us to traveling near the black hole. Black holes are intense sources of gravity, and the gravity at one point close to the black hole is going to be much stronger than gravity at another point just slightly further away, even on the same spacecraft. This means that any spaceship traveling near or towards a black hole will probably be ripped apart. Now the thing that this movie gets really wrong is orbital mechanics. It would take an extreme amount of fuel to travel from one point farther from the black hole to another point close to the black hole. While from a relativity standpoint, that scene where they left the mothership and traveled to the planet orbiting the black hole was well represented, it would take an extreme amount of energy to actually perform that orbital maneuver. And when they're falling through the atmosphere and Matthew McConaughey apparently saves the day, they end up falling back into the black hole. Since they're leaving a planet that's orbiting the black hole, they have enough angular momentum to travel safely around it and it would actually be difficult to perform an orbital maneuver that would end up sending them into the singularity. Still, it does much better at this than some movies where they're apparently orbiting the moon and then five minutes later they're falling through the atmosphere into Earth in a dramatic scene. Science of Interstellar, a mixed bag from some pretty good physics and relativity to some pretty bad orbital mechanics.